back to heart and soul. If you listen to Urban Radio, you'll notice a heavy presence of hip-hop music. Whether you like it or not, kids these days love it. But not all of them. We recently found a few students who are stepping outside of the music box and playing to a different beat. Here's Leah Hope with more on that story. These students are too young to perform here, but their sound is so extraordinary, they certainly have what it takes to be the next generation of musicians to perform here at Orchestra Hall. Session at the Hyde Park Suzuki Institute, and judging by the sound of it, these students are well on their way to greatness because they are being trained and mentored by this woman, Lucinda Elite Landing. The Hyde Park Suzuki Institute is a community music school located here on the city's south side of Chicago near the University of Chicago. A classically trained musician herself, Lucinda grew up having to travel a great distance for violin lessons. I'm actually a Suzuki student. I started at the age of six, and my dad is actually a violinist and a violist. He was practicing one day, and I said, oh, I'd like to do that. And my very next memory is having a violin in my hand. The Suzuki method is a method that was started by Dr. Shinichi Suzuki. You can learn at a very early age, like the age of three, how to play any instrument. Back in 1998, a time when many inner-city kids were being exposed to influences of hip-hop music, Lucinda Ali Landing opened the doors to the Hyde Park Suzuki Institute. Well, music is important for everybody, but specifically for African-American youth, classical music is important because it's just an alternative to some of the other more popular musics with African-Americans. My children love it the environment here and what they're getting, and also um, the techniques that they're learning. They progress quickly when you are actually working at home with them. When the Institute opened 14 years ago, she had roughly 10 students. Today, her foundation teaches nearly 200 hopefuls who range in age from 3 to 17 years old. Our commitment as a family grew as more children began to play. And we also develop a friendship, and she's just compassionate, imaginative, she's committed, loving, excited, innovative, she's, she's wonderful. I was originally playing violin, but I saw a cello and I asked my mom if I could play cello, and I've been playing cello since then. You can play hip-hop, classical, and a lot of things. So, and I like playing with them. It's fun. They've made amazing progress. Um, Lucinda is not only a wonderful teacher, but she's a real stickler on technique, on tone, on posture. I've seen huge improvements. What makes her program so unique is that children who can't afford the lessons are offered training through a few partnerships the Institute has with local schools. Here at the Hyde Park Suzuki Institute, our rates are uh, purposely set at 30% below market rate. For 14-year-old Abdul, this has been a gratifying experience, considering he started playing two years ago. Most people, it may take a little bit longer, but I think because I'm a little older and I catch on more, I have a sense of rhythm. It really helps. High Park Suzuki is a place that I can know I can be safe in and a place I can know I can learn really fast and well and have fun at the same time. This program is very rigorous. The students and parents must be committed 100%. The parents have to sit in during lessons and are expected to spend time practicing at home. So thank you so much for coming out and spending time with us. Some families at the Institute can even qualify for financial assistance, largely in part to donors. We have private events that um, support our work and programs here at the Hyde Park Suzuki Institute. So we have families who agree to host parties for us, and the children perform at the parties, and the guests support our program. My oldest is in college. She's a cello performing major. My second one is going to college. She's going to be studying science, but she also got a scholarship as a piano major. So the skills that you learn it helps you in so many different areas. And although a lot of hard work is required, many of the families are extremely grateful when they hear the finished product. 
My hope is that the students grow up and become the next musicians in some of the major orchestras around the world. They can also become teachers and work in the music industry. I just want them to love music and stay in the industry and support the arts. If you ever had the thought that you wanted your child to play the piano or the violin, it's really not just for people whose families play or for wealthy people. It's for anyone who wants to learn. Thanks, Leah. The Hyde Park Suzuki Institute has an annual winter festival that showcases the talents of these gifted young people. So if you'd like more information about them, just log on to our website at abc7chicago.com. Okay.